Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode three. You find yourself at the thumbnail of part two. I just accidentally hit the screenshot button. Oh God, what's my buttons? What are my buttons? That's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Ah, hitting all the wrong buttons. And so since we are playing on Optifine, I took it upon myself to download some shaders. This is one of my favorite shaders. It is called complimentary shaders. So, look at it. Look at it in all its glory. Oh, it's so pretty. Alright guys, so I kind of fucked up. Uh, in this recording, my frames were a lot worse than I thought they were. Which is why I have the FPS counter now. Even though I keep tweaking settings, uh, I never got the best frames. And so there's a lot of frame rate issues above ground in this part. And I, I'm so sorry, guys. I had good frames in testing. And then the moment you hit record, everything goes to shit. As always, that's just the curse of OBS. But right now, as you can tell, I have adjusted my settings to the point where I'm getting very consistent over 60 even while recording. Uh, yeah, no, that was entirely, um, on me. I'm so sorry. I, I spent like an hour tweaking settings off camera before I recorded part three. And I still dropped the ball on that. I did not think it was going to be as bad as it is. Or was, I should state. And, uh, so the recording is choppy. I, I, I fucked up. I'm so sorry. Thankfully, now that we have good frames again, uh, we don't have to turn off the shaders. So I'm happy about that because I didn't want to. I like the shaders. You know, I kind of turned them on for a reason more than just for shits and giggles. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, it still looks fine. Even with low graphic, lowered settings. I lowered some settings and stuff and the shader is still gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. I'm still very happy with how it looks. It's it's not total potato. It was a worry of mine. I did turn off anti-aliasing, but that's fine. Yeah, no, I'm so sorry. I, I cannot apologize enough for majorly, majorly dropping the ball on that. I, God, I, oh. If the recording is so bad, I might honestly give more of an overview near the end of some things that I did now that I have a stable frame rate because it's as you will see it's kind of it, it's rough above ground it's pretty rough minor flashing light warning I guess because it is a little finicky anyway enough looking at things for being pretty take it in while you can because today is going to be spent underground so this this nice view, this low FPS, it's, it, it, it's nice, but you don't get to enjoy it for very long. Because now that I have me a full set of iron, I want to go mining. God, what is wrong with me? I'm hitting all of the wrong buttons. I just, I am not playing the game today, boys. I'm just having a rough time. I don't even have... Yeah, I don't even have any planes for spacing. Hold on. I might need a dirt chest at some point, too, with all this stuff that I have. My god! Okay. Oof. I gotta get the hype going, you know? I'm not... I'm not hype yet. I'm not hype enough, you know? Too busy, like, being annoyed at all the little things, such as the fact that I am, like, so un godly sensitive I don't think there's a sensitivity option in the game is there no there ain't and a crafting bench apparently I used my last crafting bench at some point I don't know when but it is somewhere in the game world here we go that is everything I'm going to need for my survival in the dark dank spooky caves ah oh, dude you can see the sunlight coming through the window even Oh, that is so pretty. Ah, that is gorgeous. 
this is why I like shaders, because it just makes the already nice aesthetic even prettier. And the reason I like complementary shaders is it's kind of a vanilla-esque lighting, but with shadows, reflections, and my favorite part is the fact that with no texture packs, I have bump mapping, normal maps, whatever the heck, whichever technical one they are. And it just adds a little pop and flair to the ground. Ow, my cankles. Even though I spent, like, a long time doing my settings to avoid having issues, I'm still getting drops, man. I'm still getting drops. Oh, that's probably why. Jeez. Why the heck is that set up so high? That was weird. Why, why did door make sound when I hit escape? That made no sense. What? Yeah, game. Door. Thank you. Why am I sleeping? I don't need to sleep. I'm gonna go mine. And the game just crashed, I think. What? What just happened? No, it didn't crash. It's going to, though. Holy crap, it didn't crash. So I accidentally, while in bed, I clicked this screenshot that I accidentally took. And it minimized my game and opened that screenshot. Uh, I'm gonna just get rid of that screenshot from the chat real quick. There we go. Now I don't accidentally do that again. Alright, let's go mining. Let's go! Or cave explorating. Specifically cave exploration, not mining. Well, I guess technically I'm exploring caves and mining for diamond, because that is the ultimate goal, is diamond. I don't think I've said that yet, because I'm kind of sporadic right now. So we got two holes, we got that cave, and that cave. I think I'm gonna- oh, technically that's a cave too, right? Yeah, that's where the water is at. I mean, this cave looks small, so I guess I'll do this one first. Might as well just- uh, Well, now, now, it, now it doesn't look small now that I'm down here. But, yeah. I don't want to do that other one, the first one, mostly just because it's such a vertical. Lepers! Heck yeah. No diamond yet. Oh god, there's an enchanted bow over there. That's going to be a big deal, a big problem. Alright, cool. Monster Hunter, let's go. That's a, that's a video game. I heard good things about the Monster Hunter game. Ah! Can I, does this... Okay, that, I don't know if that worked or not, or if I just have armor and so I didn't take a lot of damage. GOLD! Hell yeah, gold. I love gold. Even though it's kind of useless for anything. Yo, there's bats in this version. Heck yeah. Okay, we found what appears to be an underground ravine. That's nice, that's nice. More iron, more coal. Eh. A lot of enchanted bows, holy but Jesus. That is not good. No bueno. Subpar. Alright, let's get this coal. This coal is always a necessity. You can never have too much coal. Lapis coal, iron, and some gold is already a lot more than I expected. I honestly was expecting not that much good stuff this fast. Just trying not to fall. In there. No particular reason. There's nothing wrong with in there. Alright, the way to the ravine is sort of blocked off, and I'm okay with that. Aw, oh, my pickaxe. Oh, yeah, I don't have... St I just need to collect some stone as well for when I inven inevitably need to make a million and one pickaxes. And the one downside to Minecraft's system of mm, spawning things is they just sort of spawn stuff around the player, which makes sense. Quick, easy. It works very, very well. Well, that means that you have to do a little bit of metagaming when it comes to your cave exploration. And speed is key. Alright, Spidicy fans, speed is key. You don't want to linger because the longer you linger, the more mobs will spawn. So when you go cave exploring, you gotta you gotta butt rush. 
because the faster you get to new areas, the less time mobs have to spawn, and the safer it is. But right now, by spending a lot of time here, in those areas over there, mobs are just stacking up. You could just hear mobs. You could just hear spiders and skeletons and stuff. And their sounds will just slowly increase as they spawn more and more and more. Because I'm in the area, I'm not clearing them out. So, that's why I go so deep into a cave with light before I even pick up my first ore. Is to, there's lava nearby, to reduce... Uh, just mobs. Makes it a lot safer. Cause you, if you just rush into a unknown section, then mobs aren't going to be there as fast. It's very nice. I guess you could call it metagaming, right? I think I said that already, but I, I, I would imagine it's called... I, I, I would think it's a form of metagaming. Yes, more cave. And there's the Skelebros I was hearing. That means there. I see the. I see the spider up there. Oh, hello, Minecraft spider. You don't scare me. You don't scare me. I'm not afraid of you, even if you are my elder. Oh, emerald and more gold. Dude, heck yeah. Okay. Okay, hello, son. Hello. Goodbye. You're dead. You suck. Go home, kid. You're trash. This is... I know I'm completely derailing... Like... Creeper. Derailing in an unnecessary direction. Hello, Zambi. That's what I do. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't stick to one area for too long. I have severe crippling ADHD... At least I'm not, you know, completely destroyed from, like, the tiki takis I just have ADHD. Which isn't much better, I guess, for your attention span. But at least I can say I didn't ruin it with short form content. Where are you guys coming from? I have this area mildly lit. See what I mean? This, this is what happens if you don't light up everything. Because I didn't go high enough up here, they're spawning up here. Being little pricks. Little douche canoes. There, there, is that, is that happy? Does that make you happy, feller? Feller, again, with the- oh my god. It's getting worse. I swear. I swear, every time I recognize the fact that I'm adding my intrusive R's, it gets worse. Once I become conscious of it. I wonder if this version of Minecraft has charcoal blocks, because that would be handy. I don't know if they're actually... I, well, okay, I'll take that back. I know they're better for mass smelting, I'm pretty sure. Because they burn longer than normal charcoal. But I primarily use charcoal blocks for storage of large amounts of charcoal. Because you can basically take up a lot more space. I don't know the maths. Since it takes eight char... Would it be eight or nine? It'd be nine. It, it takes nine char... Charcoal. I'm saying charcoal, not normal coal. It takes nine coal to make one coal out block. So that means it is a ninth better. Is that how that works? Nine times less space. Because it's by nine. Is, is that how that math works? I don't know. I'm not very math savvy. Ow. Oh, God. Right in the nape of my neck where there's no armor. What a jerkwad. What? <gasps> Wait down. Gold. Lots of fucking lava. Jesus. A little scary. Lo not gonna lie. A little scary. Bang, bang, bong, bang, bang, bong, bong. Okay, but with lava, there is a high likelihood of diamond. Not high per se, but higher likelihood of diamond. 
Ugh, I do not want to lose my world. Tall lava of all things. I feel like that is mega noob. You know? That'd be super ultra giga cringe. My zombies. Hello, Lapis Lazuli. Oh, we're back at the start. Heck yeah, dude. That's actually really cool. And he more Lapis. Holy, holy, holy. I don't even have anything to say, but holy. Heck yeah. Dude, there's so much coal here as well. Oh my gosh. Heck yeah, man. And there's so many zombies and nasties here to kill me as well. Even better. God, this is the most stressful cave exploration I've ever done. Knowing that it's hard hardcore. Hard world. Good job. But also, this is some of the most amount of resources I've ever found in just one go like this. Like... Am I crazy? I feel like there's usually never this many resources. Is this just a hellaciously good seed? Does early Minecraft have more resources than I remember? Because I know diamond is horrifically hard to find in early Minecraft. But I didn't think there was just like an overabundance of everything else like there seems to be right now. And I don't, I cannot tell if that is luck or that is just older minecraft you know it's hard to it's hard to say god that is awesome oh dude there's even a cave some up there hot niggity darn or is it just because i'm weird and i care a lot more about things like gold than most people because i know gold is rather useless in all sense, because it doesn't have high durability, and I think it's only a mining, uh, like, I, th I think it's only a, a cobblestone pick power, not even an iron pick power, but it's still just a nice resource. I just like having, you know, quote-unquote valuable resources. It just is fun to me. And because gold is not completely useless. I can now make a clock. I can make, like, a compass. Does a compass require gold? Or is it just redstone? I don't know. I never make a compass. Because compasses are useless. Let's be real. But that's besides the point. Clocks aren't. They're not completely useless. No one could argue I have eyeballs, so I don't need a clock. But shut up. Alright. Clocks are cool. The things that... The weird things that I think are cool, are they cool because they're actually cool? Or the weird things that I think are cool, are cool because I'm uncool. And so I think they're cool, but they're actually, they're uncool. I don't know. It's the real question, because there's a lot of things like that, I guess. Never dig up. I'm going to because it's such a, such a long sky above me. But don't dig up, boys and girls. Very unsafe. Except for at the extreme distances, like this. Where if lava did start pouring down, I have ample time. To boot, scoot, and even the boogies. Boogie, 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 woo. Okay. It's most of this easy section. So let's make our way back to the big hole up whatever we find of course along the way i don't want to go too deep because i you know don't want to get lost in a big twisty windy confused ass cave i kid you not i have spent hours lost in a cave before me and my friend even made a saying for it all these squares make a circle it was hours and hours in one cave system. One that we had explored very thoroughly. But we still couldn't find our way out. 
We were constantly finding new areas, backtracking, somehow finding a, a new route back to where we had already been. It was, I think, about four or five hours before we finally decided that it, 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 we're done. We're, we were done, and we just dug our way out. It was very fun, but all these squares make a circle is always going to be entrenched in my mind. More as a warning than anything else, if I'm honest. Okay, this hole down here, we had a sizable amount of ores. Like, I remember there was some lapis and stuff. Oh yeah, I fell down this hole at one point, so that was fun. Of course, I, I wasn't recording at the time, because, you know, technically I wasn't supposed to be playing at that time. It was when I was messing with sh shader settings. I was playing around with shader settings, getting that all optimized before I played. And I fell down the hole, and I'm like, well, goddammit. I better not die while OBS is not on, because I would never forgive myself if I- <gasps> FUCKING DIAMONDS! Let's. Go! Oh my god, dude. Oh my fucking god, dude. We, we did it. We did it. I'm gonna name you Jeffrey. I'm in such a good mood, I'm gonna name him Je- I don't have- I was gonna make a sign, but I don't have the wood to make a sign. It's fine, he probably won't despawn. If he's still here, I probably won't remember his name. What? Eh, who knows. Maybe I'll remember his name, maybe I won't. But his name is Jeffrey now. I just realized what other famous person has the name of Jeffrey, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not gonna name him that. For no particular reason. Uh, yeah, I don't know of a better name, though. I just, I'm thinking of J names. I don't know why my brain is on J names right now. Yes, and I'm actively not mining that diamond right now. Because it's kind of just a defense mechanism that I have. Uh, I, I mined the valuable thing last. That way, if while I'm mining all the other stuff... Like, think of it like, I'm disarming all the traps around me. Before I pick up the diamond. You know? Because I don't want to pick up the diamond first, go for all the iron, and then... Do something stupid and die picking up iron. With the diamond on me, you know? I would rather secure the bag of all the other miscellaneous goodies before I grab the big money shot. This is a, a very long and square vein of coal. That was very weird. <laughs> That's a very, like, a very weird vein of coal. If, if this was, like... 20, 2011, people would have said that coal was put down by Hero Brian as a trap. Alright, let's do our due diligence and mine around the diamond. Oh, dude, this is a big one. Oh, heck yeah, man. Yet again, this is like disarming traps. So, what you do is you disarm any possible traps while also searching for more diamond around it. Because even though it's very unlikely, every so often you find diamond right beside diamond. And you will be kicking yourself if you don't... If you don't do this. Because you never know, you could have found more diamonds. So you gotta, you gotta like, just disarm it. You gotta make sure, do, do a little search, make sure there's no secret lava or anything. No secret ores. Alright. Four blocks of diamond. It's not terrible. That's enough for a pick. Diamonds!
Heck yeah, dude. Alright, any ores that I missed? Hello, Jeffrey. I can't think of a better name, so you're just you're just gonna have to be Jeffrey. I'm gonna specify that you're De Jeffrey Dahmer, though. No other Jeffrey. You're Jeffrey Dahmer. Alright. Who, ironically enough, Jeffrey Dahmer is the lesser of two Jeffreys. That's a little... It's a little... Wackadoo. What a funny little world we live in. Where I would rather have Jeffrey Dahmer than any other sp particular Jeffreys. I mean, I guess we could always go with Hefe. Yeah, we'll just... We'll just change it. Nah, I like Jeffrey more. Sorry. Sorry, Hefe. You're Jeffrey, still. Okay, this cave is just a giant circle with two little tendrils. But it had diamonds, so I'm not upset. This was a... This is a very cool cave, actually. Like, this is... A very cool gen. I'm happy with that. See ya, Jeffrey. Try not to despawn. If you do, then oh well. But, you know. At least try not to. Look at all this f***ing iron, boys. Dude, I got so much good stuff. That was a relatively short trip, too. By relatively, I mean it was literally 30 minutes. That's actually a very short trip. Honestly, I wish there was Minecraft music more often. Because as somebody who doesn't put music in their videos very often, mostly just because... Um... I don't know how. Like, I don't know how to do that without clashing with anything. Let's make, let's, let's make a special... a special box. As a matter of fact, does this version of Minecraft have... Uh... Barrels. Yes, we have a chest here. Wow. This is a special chest. This can go in our special chest room. This will house our first diamond. Yay! And our first emerald. Yay! I don't know if emerald is actually all that important in this version of Minecraft, but you know. That, that, that exists. But yeah. Uh, 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 I can't place a chest here, even though... Even though it wouldn't make that into a triple chest, it still doesn't allow you to put a chest beside a chest. What if I did that first? No? What the fuck, game? Well, that's just stupid. Is that, is that normal? I don't think that's normal. I don't think that's how the game normally works. I'm gonna be honest with you. Giving to be honest with you. Well, that means this wall is almost out of space, which means it is... Maybe about time for a, uh... Actually, no, I want it to be out Oh, give me some stone, actually. That would mean it's about time for... A warehouse! It's almost time for a warehouse, then. Oh. Do that because I'm too lazy. Here we go. Now, now you can still open the chest. This will be our... Uh, rare... Not rare, necessarily, but our resource chest. Our dildo's chest, which I call it that. Because of a long, long time ago... In a galaxy far away. So, let us make our first diamond pick. Brr! Ah, it's beautiful. I say first. I doubt we're going to make very many more. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Not only would that require finding more diamond, but that would also require using up a, a, a diamond pick to make another one. Neither of those I see as very likely to happen. But, you know what they say, never say never. Just statistically horrifically unlikely. I digress. The point is, is I'm gonna go make some obsidian after naming Jeffrey. Jeffrey? You still here, Jeffrey? Aww. He left us too soon. Damn, bro. He was a good man. He wasn't even a man, nor was he good. But he was a good man. Hello. Oh, that's a that's a creeper. 
Oh man. So we back in your mind, I'll pick your swing and fob side to side, side, side to side. Alright, let's get some obsidian, baby. Gamers. Baby gamers. That's you. You're a baby bitch boy gamer man. Alright, hopefully this should protect me, right? And save our obsidian from turning to nothing. Is obsidian fireproof? I feel like it should be. If it ain't, it really should be. Oh, he might be lucky. This might be only one layer, which would be actually perfect. Do we do a full another portal because it's cool? Or do we do nether portal with gold in the corners because it's pretty? Yay! All that obsidian is ours. Dude, we have so much obsidian, we can make so many good games. Never, never dig straight down, boys. Especially when you can actively hear lava. Or dig straight up when you can actively hear lava. <sighs> Case in point. <coughs> Mmm, yes. Cool. Well, I have everything here. I could pick up that iron, I mean that coal, but I really don't feel like finding out the hard way that there's still lava down there. One upside to lava is, or lava removal, is that sometimes there's diamond under the lava. We're not going to go to the nether yet. I don't think I'm mentally or physically prepared for that yet. But, we we do have the obsidian for it. But I don't, I don't think we're quite ready for that one yet. The sun is coming up on day... What are we at now? Day 22. Nice cock. That was a, honestly a surprisingly oh, effective like mining expedition. I'm telling you, I think it's like they hardly ever go that smooth for me, man. It's wild. So, we had exactly enough for two blocks of gold, which is perfect. Because I figure a good middle ground is I was going to make only the top two corners of the nether portal gold. And that is the exact amount of gold we have. Ah, we get to see the pretty shader in action. Right as the music kicks in. Oh, oh. She's gorgeous. On the plus side, we have enough coal that we don't have to fuck with our trees right now. We don't have to do some more charcoal chores. Yeah, see, see, look at the nice bump map. Normal map, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. It looks so good. It looks so good. Because on in the shaded flat area, you can't really tell. And then when the light hits. Oh, adds just a little bit extra depth and texture to it. Such a nice thing. No, no texture packs are required. It's all the shader just being awesome. It makes me happy. Also, I cut down the wrong trees. I cut down these trees, thinking that they were the ones in the way. Uh, they weren't. It was. It's this tree specifically. These, these are the. This is the trees that were in the way. Hello, pig. I noticed, I noticed that while editing. I'm like, God dang it, I cut down the wrong trees. So I know some people have a debate on where you put, you know, your sword, your pick, and your bow. Some people believe sword is number one. Some people think the pickaxe should be number one. Some people think that the bow and arrow should be number one. I do what you see here. You know, sword one, pick two, axe three, spoon or shovel, uh, four. Why, you may ask? Uh, the main reason is actually uh, Terraria. Believe it or not, that is that is Terraria is why I put my sword in one, 
my pick in two, and my axe in three. It, it's Terraria. Yeah. I know. Some people are going to hate me for that, I'm sure. But yeah, that, that's why I do it. I know nobody actually cares, and I doubt anybody actually asked, but you know, I figured I'd just give my two cents. Alright, I think we're going to do some boring resource gathering real quick. Because it's just one of those things that you need to do every so often. So I'm going to go use, while I have an abundance of iron, use some iron to get a lot of stone quickly. Because that's how you're supposed to play the game. I, I, I have to make a conscientious... 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 Is that the word? I don't know if that's the right word. Or, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the right word, but I don't know if it's the right pronunciation of said word. I have to make a very specific point in doing it. Yeah. I would like to go this way some more, but there's a large chasm that I'd have to try and cross, so I think I'm just gonna cut my losses and just pick a direction and just start going this way. Oh, yeah, sorry, the Dillo's chest. It is a another Terraria reference, actually, because uh, um, I was playing with one of my friends, and that is what we would call the valuables, was we would just rename the valuable chest to Dildo's chest, and the joke is literally just that, haha, <laughs> Dildo's are valuable. That's it. It's just a a, a penis joke, essentially. That's all. It's just funny. And it's sort of just became... It, it it just became like part of my lexicon, you know? Just another word for my valuables chest. Because that's why we would call it. We'd say, oh yeah, oh, do you know if we have any tungsten? I don't know, check the dildo's chest. And so yeah, just sort of slipped in. Hehe. <laughs> Get it? Get get it? That's a that's another penis joke. Very highbrow humor. Highbrow as in Neanderthal level foreheads, but you know, it's besides the point. Uh, my pickaxe broke. Oh well, got a decent amount of stone and other misc ores, so we are good. Alright. Go, on, let's make some stone, baby. Now, this so I'm gonna make some stone for the highway, yada yada, right? But I don't know what I wanna do for like this section. <gasps> Hello, my green penis friend. Um, yeah, you come up here. Where you can barely do anything, and I- no, you stand here. Where did you go, my bud? My- my friendo. Why are you going the long way? What is wrong with your pathing, son? Ow! What a jerk. It's fine. It's fine. We don't- we- 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 we take those here. Oh yeah, my armor's good. But yeah, like I was saying, I prefer slabs over stairs. I think I'll, you know, smooth this out to make it slab, half slab accessible. I didn't even, I, I just realized I'm not even doing it right. I'm not even doing it right. That's still a fucking, god, I'm stupid. Beautiful. And just like that, I did it. I did exactly what I wanted to. Perfect. And now it should all be half slabs. I think that's the only spot where there were stairs, right? Yeah, everything else is smooth. So there we go. Now that's nice and smooth. Which should be half slab accessible. And I think I'm going to go with smooth slabs. I don't remember if I've said this already, but I'm going to go with the smooth stone slabs. Because it is an accent to cobblestone. That's really just it. Just a nice little accent to cobblestone. Is that? Yeah. Boom. I guess they're just stone slabs. Whatever. Whatever. 
I don't care what you call yourself so long as you work. There we go. See? Like that. Oh, that looks so good and early. Old school. Old school. It's got that old school feel. Hell yeah. Old school feel with a new school look. That's what I'm here for. Modern. Modernity. Even better for traversal. Through the wastelands, the wildlands, the barelands, until I cut all the trees down and expand my ever growing empire. Oh. Oh no. More stairs. More stairs. Oh <laughs> uh, well, anyway, so let's get to fixing. Did I do it correctly this time? I did it correctly this time. For now, I'll just make this all cobble. If I ever want to change it, I can just do that. That looks so bad. I'm not gonna lie, it actually looks terrible. Man, this is still kind of laggy, though. I don't know why it's so laggy! I, I got good FPS beef. Oh, wait, yeah, I'm stupid. I was, I just I I was about I was literally just about to explain exactly why I'm having issues. I was saying I was getting good FPS. Dot dot dot. Before I started recording. Yeah, no shit. The FPS was good before I was recording. I wasn't recording. Recording is not an easy feat on your computer. There, that should that should help. Just the little things, little little bits of FPS increase. But yeah, no. This being just a giant staircase looks kind of stupid. Not gonna lie. I think it just kind of sticks out in a negative manner. But at least it's smooth. It looked fine as a very aggressive staircase. I thought it, it looked very visually acceptable. The moment I smoothed it out, it, looked, it started to look kind of shit. And I have more stone. I can finish my road. Ah, it's so pretty. See, this being a bit laggy makes sense because of all the reflections and the water and yada yada. There we go. Nice little bridge. You're pretty. She's not pretty at all. She's god awful. But I digress. The point is, is where shall the turn start? Preferably before this water, because that will be a pain in the A. So if I start the turn here, there's water there. It's going to be a pain in the A. There's water there, but I can build a bridge. Oh, perfect. Build a bridge, a, a nice bridge across of the gap. And it will be gorgeous. It's nighttime! Scary! Scary nighttime. Technically, I can work through the night pretty easily now, but I would still rather not risk it. Instead, we will run boop, our highway. Now that it's nice and smooth. Check it. Ch ch to check it. You know, if there was like music here, that'd be nice. I'm gonna find. put in. Uh, morning stroll! Put in morning stroll. Perfect. Lovely. All right. Be home. We here. Look! Look at that epic doormanship. Is that what? Is that what you'd even call that? Doormanship? I don't know. It's made up. Time to run all the way back because I've yet to see a single horse to even steal. Alright, we so back, boys. Look, check it out. We are so back. Alright, do we do we add a curve? I think we should add a little bit of a curve here, because let's be real, gamers. We are all about that efficiency. Oh well, we'll fix it in post. By that I mean uh boom. Ha burn. 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 
me hit burn. Alright. So, I'm gonna build a bridge. A nice, a nice bridge across here. I think I'm gonna go with a wooden bridge. Oh, go, go, go. I'm gonna go with a wooden bridge. Because I use a lot of cobble already. So I think I should spice it up a little. Make it wood. And since this is a new biome, I think I'll... If I do continue a highway through here, uh, I think I'll use something different. Is that dark oak? Yo! Oh, dude, I think that's a... Yeah, that's a dark oak forest. I recognize those tree thing shapes. They're so thick. Look at that. Look at how thick they are. Oh, dude, that's fucking massive. That is huge. That's gonna be so good. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Okay. Thoughts. Thought process. Braining. Brain. Okay, I don't want to forget things. So actually, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna run back. I know. Look at me. I'm, I'm so, so... good at this game that I, all I do is run back and forth. It's a skill, uh, uh, actually. I think it counts as a skill, right? Right, gamers? I don't know. Trust me. Just trust me on this, alright? I am big brain. My brain is f popping off all neurons. Every three of them. Alright, so. Let me grab some my bobbers. But yeah. Doing a lot of run- Oh my god, and then the sun goes down. So that means I gotta wait. Because I'm not stupid! I'm not stupid. I could do it. I, I could go frolicking, frolicking, frolicking in the darkness. But believe it or not, I'm not always stupid. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't put it directly by each other. Oh my fucking god, I hate that so much. I hate that so much. <sighs> it's fine. If I knew it was going to be this, this fucking way, I would have built all of this differently. You know what, I'm gonna build a warehouse before I do anything else. Okay, I'm gonna let the sun go down. I'm gonna make a bunch of a bunch of fucking chests real quick. Beautiful. Lovely. And put a couple too many torches because better safe than sorry. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Oh, it looks so good. Did I place it on the wrong spot? You gotta be shitting me, I did. Fuck! <sighs> God damn it. I placed it on the wrong. On the wrong. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I'm so stupid. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, now we have the beginning of our platform. Yay! We've started to make a warehouse. Well, excuse me. I'm going to take this opportunity to actually light up our highway. Because it needs to be done, so I'm going to do it better late than never. Even though it's going to be dangerous and spooky. And yes, I'm purposefully only lighting the right-hand side. It is a thing to help my brain. That way, the thought is, if you do it all on the right-hand side, you always know what direction you are going. Why I try to avoid putting torches... On, I, I, I'm out of torches. Well, I try to avoid putting torches on the left-hand side of caves because it can get a little confusing. Because you know that I'm going, I know that I'm going backwards because the torches are on the left-hand side. Yo, leather armor, zombie. Take that, nerd. Broke his ankles. 
I broke, I broke his ankle so hard he had a concussion and forgot about me. Man, I am a bad person, aren't I? Alright, so, the reason for all the... Hold on, gamers, can I not do that either? Because of the door... You have, you have single-handedly completely ruined my entire warehouse system! <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. Can I also not build them in the back, either? No, can't, can't do that. Nope, can't have them touching at all. That's irritating. Gotta recount everything then, because now it's, now it's... Now everything's different! Because old Minecraft sucks dick. Okay, I'll be fine. It will be fine. It just means my storage is half the capacity. This, this singular warehouse block is going to have half of the capacity it's supposed to. Because Minecraft, old Minecraft, sucks donkey dick. And that's fine, because, you know, I, I did this to myself. I wanted to play the, the best, perfect version of Minecraft. Oh, yep. My, yeah, I'm totally, I'm so sure this is the best Minecraft ever made. For hardcore Minecraft. Look at how much fun and difficult it is. You can just stay there. There, good enough. Good enough for now. Close enough for government work. Yada, yada, yada. All that jazz, so. Alright. I got overkill, so that way there is never a single question. Alright. Makes sense. Capiche, capash. Comprende, ombre. Hmm, maybe. Mm, no. I do slabs. That way, if I need to go one block taller, then the chests are able to open still. Beautiful. Lovely. Heck yeah. That, that, I can be proud of that. I have no issues with that. So what do I mean by stone-based? I mean anything that is a stone, like granite, dorite, all that stuff. What do I mean by dirt-based? I mean anything that is a dirt, like dirt, sand, gravel. Um, I can go mist. This is the, those are the same categories that I always use in, like, all of my playthroughs, so they're very, they're nondescript because they have specific meaning to me. I think I won't change any of these for now, really. I think I'll just keep them as they are. This is not my primary store location, this is, like, super long term. So we got our storage done. It's pretty, it's open air. Everything's labeled, there's plenty of things to work with. Lots of space. Scary bows. Good time. It's a good, it's a damn good time. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Alright. I think I'm gonna call this one here. Uh, the sun, or the moon's going down, the sun is coming up. Long ago, somebody sucked on my cup. And, so yeah, hold on. So let's, let us, so the other reason I made signs, the, the original reason I was making signs, is so that way I can write down things I want to do in locations in the world, so I don't have to try and remember things, right? Why well, keep an outside book, or an IRL book, I should state, when I'm... I have Minecraft. I can literally just place things in Minecraft. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah, you're picking up what I'm putting down, buckos. So yes, yes, the wood bridge. I make wood bridge. Yes, yes, yes. But I don't just want a wood bridge. I actually have a very specific. Mixed wood bridge, more oak than... Spruce. Spruce? Is that how it's spelled? I actually don't know. Alright. I want to put a wooden bridge here. But since it's going from super spruce area to not spruce area, I want to 
incorporate that in the bridge. If that makes sense. I was gonna make a sign pointing to its the direction. There it is. Uh, put an arrow because I am stupid. Dark oak forest forest. Uh, different road mats. So since this is a different biome, I was going to use a different road, and I do indeed plan on going towards that, which I can't tell if it's dark oak. It looks like dark oak, but it also is snowy like taiga. Hold on, now I have to check. Now I'm fucking confused. It is indeed dark oak. Okay, it's just, there's snow on top of our dark oak. But it is dark oak. Thank god, oh man, this world is... Oh, dude, that's so cool. I haven't done a lot of exploration on this world because I'm scared. I'm a scared little baby boy. But man, this world is pretty. Partly because it's covered in snow. And as much as I hate the cold, you cannot deny the vibes of snow. This is such a cool area. It's a snowy plains. Dude, that's so cool. Wow. How? Like, I'm not used to just snowy plains. There's no trees. Usually there's only snow where there's spruce. You know? Yo, big dark oak. Big dark oak. And so much spruce! Hot diggity darn. Dude, this world is like 90% spruce. Holy heck. What the heck? I do not have, like, large biomes enabled or anything. This is... Vanilla... World gen. Like, I... Ooh. That's cool. I like that. But yeah, this is vanilla world gen. I don't have any any amplifier. I don't have large biomes. Nothing. And yet, my world is 90% snow and spruce. Wow. Wow, this is a... Ow, fuck you. This is a cool sea, dude. This is awesome. I said this in the first part, and I, I just, I feel like I've been getting so lucky with all, with my most, with all the new seeds. Like, and all my new, most recent new worlds I've made have just been insanely good. And also, 90% fucking spruce. I love spruce, but at the same time, that's a lot of spruce. Oh my god. Is that... Oh, I thought that was a pumpkin, now it's a rose. Eh, not the worst thing. Nothing against the rose bushes, I like them. Dude. This world is awesome. This world is fun, this is so much fun. I'm loving my hardcore. I think taking breaks as well has helped a lot, the fact that I'm not doing it all at once. Since I'm just doing it. My goal is, you know, I'm trying to at least do like once a week. Once a week play, once a week upload, you know? So, it's been it's been nice having the gap. I think the gap is necessary to avoid burnout. Because I'm very easy to burn out, probably due to my ADHD. Let's see. Um, We got, we got... Wood bridge. Dark oak. Oh yeah, I need to make my nether portal. And then I do, I, I want to build a room for my nether portal. Like, I don't want to just slap another portal somewhere near my base or anything, because, like, if I put it inside, they're loud, annoying, and dangerous. And I think it'd be more interesting to, like, dedicate a building to the nether portal. Maybe, like, make a church or something. Because I think that's cool. I think it's more interesting to do that than to just be like, and I built another portal somewhere. You know, maybe make a basement, too. 
for the nether portal? It's a possibility. I don't plan on doing too much of terraforming stuff because it hurts my brain. And my wallet. My, my poor shovels. I don't want it too far. See, the thing is, I want things close, but not too close. I want there to be oh, a bit of a gap. Because look at this. Look at how nice this is. That is so nice to have, like, actual physical things. More than just an every a, a, a house with everything in it all at once. To have a bit of variety, a bit of separation. A little bit of separation, anxiety, you know? All of those things, I feel, make for a better... In air quotes, better. It's all objective. A more interesting, though. I can say that without feeling bad. It makes for a more interesting world. Than just... I live in a base that has literally all of my amenities, and I never have to leave. I never have to do anything different. You know, that's just that's just kind of boring. I think, I feel. E party, my world is growing. Yay! Screenshot thumbnail right here, baby. All right, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Give me ideas if you have any. Uh, all those good things and uh hopefully this continues because i'm having a great time i'm having a great world it's a good time and it's so pretty now it's so pretty it's so pretty i love it i love it i love it to bits love to death having a hell of a good time